Well, Jacob, seven years to this day you depart this mortal earth. The lawyers have told me, though, the company is finally mine. I hope we buried you deep enough. Rest in peace, old friend. I hope not to see you again. It's another warmer winter than those has gone before. A global climate crisis, that's for sure. Yet Ebenezer Scrooge grows his plastics empire, adding yet more fuel to the fire. Speaking of which... You have an incoming video call, sir. Bob Cratchit is calling. What now, Cratchit? Oh, oh sir. Uh, me and some of the some of the other stuff, we've got a request. I know this story goes. You want another lump of coal for the fire? Fine. Well, Leave me uh, in peace. Uh, actually, sir, we haven't got a coal fire. We've got central heating. It's a bit too warm, if anything. Is it indeed? Yes, but um, now there's something I'd I'd love to talk to you about, if that's okay. Go on. Uh, right. The thing is, um, there aren't any vegan options in the canteen, you see. Uh, and <coughs> vegan? Uh, yeah. uh, I, I will not have any of that avocado nonsense in this factory. Well, uh, actually, sir, uh, those of us who care about the environment, we, we don't eat avocados. You see, the plantations in Peru, they call a devastating carbon and environmental downside draining water away from the desert, stripping groundwater resources. It's a crisis. Uh, now, give me a neat ta-ta-ta. you one of those now, are you? It's pretty disappointing, Bob. The answer is no. You and your hippie friends can have something from the menu or starve. I didn't build this plastic empire on mongo beans and quinoa. Oh, no, absolutely. Uh, we, we do eat our other... Uh, Go! Uh, I'm busy. I tire of you. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Sorry. There's just a couple more things, Mr. Scrooge. Um, Said we gone. No, no. Mr. Scrooge, do we really want another trade union investigation? Curse you, Cratchit! Don't push your luck. I shall tell your beardy, weirdy friends that you drive a diesel Subaru. Go on, get on with it. Uh, of, of course, sir. Of, of course, sir. Um, tomorrow, uh, as you know, it, it, it's Christmas Day. A great day. A great day. A great day for making money. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we'd, we'd quite like the day off, sir. What? What? On our busiest day, it's a great day. We'll have sales, our promotions. No one should slack on Christmas Day. We must all be at work. Oh, sir, it's a day to spend with family and friends. We've got plenty of stock. We can work out just a little bit later today and we'll come in really early on Boxing Day. Please, Mr Scrooge, it's Christmas Day. Suppose you're going to want to be paid for this as well. Well, well ideally, ideally. It's a poor excuse to pick a man's pocket every year on December the 25th. Very well, but we must make sure you come in early on the 26th and make sure you tell all your colleagues too. Oh, uh, absolutely, Mr Scrooge. Thank you so much. I'll email the staff right now to that, let them know. Fast enough. Leave me in peace. Uh, Oh, one, one more thing, Mr. Scrooge. Do, do, do you have anywhere to, to spend Christmas Day? My family, we'd be delighted to... Get out, Cratchit! Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> right. Now, let's sift through these emails. Oh, I was always begging letters at this time of year. 
Look at this one. Oh dear, Mr. Scrooge, your nasty plastic toys are polluting the ocean. <laughs> now we try to pull on my heartstrings. This is Milo, he's a beautiful sea turtle. Plastic in his ocean home is causing him to have any problems. Please do what you can before it's too late. What a nonsense. That is not my problem. If they're going to die, they had better get on with it. You know what they say? There's plenty more fish in the sea. Right. Ah. What's this? What's this? What's this? Bob! 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 You have not sent that email! Bob Cratchit, come here! Scrooge had looked at his clock and saw it was late, so he closed up for Christmas and returned to his estate. He entered his home saying, Google, lights on. The device obeyed and all the lights shone. Up your screen, please. Little did he know as he scoffed his chow mein that an old friend was coming to see him again. Ooh. Lights off. Google! Lights on. Lights off. Google! Lights off. Lights on. Google. Incoming video call, sir. Unknown caller. Who's there? <laughs> Google, call security. <laughs> no. Oh dear, you are in a pickle, aren't you? What's that? Google, turn on one light and make it an LED. That should be enough. Ah, that's better. Hello, old friend. It's not possible. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, that doesn't work very well on Zoom, does it? OK, we'll carry on. Now, sit down and calm yourself, Ebenezer. Is this a prank? Am I on some ghastly reality TV show? No, this isn't a prank. No, ah, some undigested beef. Curse those vegetarians. Perhaps they're onto something. Nah, that's not possible. I'm no undigested beef or plant matter, for that matter. It is I, your old friend, Jacob Marley. Remember this that you dropped at my gravestone? I've come to warn you that if you don't change your actions, you'll be condemned, as I have been, to walk the realms of nothingness with a very high squeaky voice. For eternity, watching as the planet burns and dies, powerless to do anything. Now stop there, old friend. I am an environmentalist. A lot of people don't understand that. I think I know more about the environment than almost anyone. And I tell you now, the whole climate change is a hoax. It's a hoax put there by the Chinese to make very expensive manufacturing. I thought so too once, Ebenezer. I made a fortune in single-use plastics. I was there right at the beginning, but I had no idea what I was doing and the impacts it was gonna have. Uh, but we do know now, we know much more about the impacts that we have. You were an inspiration. You were amazing. Do you remember, though, the times that you put things in cereal boxes? Those little mazes into cereal boxes. I only cared for money, Ebenezer. There's nothing wrong with that. You're wrong, Ebenezer. Climate change is real. The damage done by the plastic industry is real. You can't just destroy the earth and buy a ticket on a multi-billionaire's little spaceship 
into outer space. You've got to be here and help sort out the mess. You are wrong, Marley. You are wrong. It won't be long before Musk and Branson and all those people have us in space so we can get our tickets and go there. I tell you and I tell you again, climate change is a hoax and it is just there to make the Chinese wealthy and the British poor. The plastics fumes have got to you, Scrooge. You must walk the world with your fellow man. By the end of this night, you will see that. I will walk with no man other than myself. You will see. For this night, you will be visited by three ghosts. You will learn the error of your ways, Scrooge. For if not, you will be doomed. Doomed. Google lights on. Marley's words still fresh in his head. Ebenezer Scrooge makes for his bed. Google, turn main bedroom light off, please. Feeling no need to worry, he snuggles up tight. Sure, his choices were right. Little does he know that moving so fast comes the ghost of climate past. Incoming video call, sir. Unknown caller. What's that? What's that now? <sighs> What's that? Ebenezer Scrooge. What kind of nightmare is this? No nightmare at all. You are awake, and I am the ghost that was foretold. I am the ghost of climate past. Oh, that is not possible. You see, I know. The ghost of climate past is a figure of quite indeterminable age. And you, well, you sound quite clearly. Rude. I'll have you know this. I look and sound pretty good for 500 years old. What's with all the smoke? You'll see. You're coming on a journey into the past. Uh, oh, thanks. Come, you cannot fight it. <laughs> Workers celebrate full of good cheer, for them 85 was a very good year. Shaking Stevens was number one, and their employer just wanted to have fun. Scrooge remembered his displeasure, for he did not enjoy merriment of any measure. It's ghastly. Why did you bring me back here, Spirit? Where are we? You brought us here, don't you know? I have brought us into the past, to an important time in your life. What happened here, Ebenezer? Nothing. This is pointless. Take me back. Attention all staff. I'm not one for speeches, so I'll keep this brief. Thank you for all you've given this year. This party's for you. Enjoy yourselves this evening, and have a very Merry Christmas! Who was he? Who is that? That was Plazywig, the owner of this factory. He gave you your first job. So you do know why we brought you here? Yes, that's right. Oh, Plazywig. He made a fortune in the 60s, when single-use plastics were all the rage, and glass bottles were becoming obsolete. He was a genius. It was felt and it'd be great for me to go there and work and learn my trade. He was a kind man, but he didn't understand the full impact of what he was doing. But someone else did. I think we should leave now. Please, I don't want to see any more. You met someone that night. Good evening. Good evening. You're nowhere, aren't you? 
My father's told me about you. My name's Belle. Very pleased to meet you. It's Ebenezer, right? That's right. So, do you enjoy working here? Mm-hmm, yes. Oh, you don't say much, do you? I don't know what to say. Oh, well, don't worry. I'd better go and find my father. I do hope I'll see you again. Yes. And you did see her again. Many times. Come, there is another Christmas you need to see. No, I know where you're taking me. I don't want to go there. Please, please don't take me there. Come, it's time for you to face it. I don't need to face anything. You are not the ghost of climate past. You are the ghost of climate cruelty. Take me back. Come. Please, spirit, I beg of you. Come. The spirit leads Scrooge a further 15 years on to a time when Plazywigs has gone. Now a partner in business and engaged to Bell, but things in his relationship are not looking well. Mm. Oh, finally. Ebenezer, it's me. Uh, Bell, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Yeah, well, you know, just hang on a minute. I know you're always busy. Just, mm -hmm. just don't speak. I've got to say something. I need to say it. Very well. Well, you know, you're going to hear this. You know, I've loved you these last 15 years and I've watched you grow in business, earning more and more money. But when I discovered what plastic was doing to our environment and to the climate, you are listening, aren't you? You mm. know, I tried to speak to you. And if you don't listen, I, well, you don't listen. I don't ask you to love our planet more than you love money. money but I do ask you that you love me more than money. So, darling, please, you know what's happening with all of the, the climate crisis. You know what's happening with all of the coal and the oil we burn. You know it's creating a thermal blanket that's cooking our planet. You know the impact it's having on people's health. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I, I, so, I so, well, I've heard so you've listened to all that? Yeah, carry on. Sorry, love. Love you, love, love you lots, love you lots. But I have heard of central heating. Is that cool? Well, you do know how plastic is made. Coal, oil, gas, it's all having an impact. Your products are choking the planet, Ebenezer. You need, you don't need to be part of this. I'm trying to make a future, Belle. I'm doing this for us. Really? No, you're doing it for you. We could all have been married by now, but you still put money and this factory first. Hey, hey Belle, I do love you. Yeah, well, you did once, Ebenezer. I'm sorry. This is goodbye. Just do one. Belle. No, Belle. Belle. Come back, Belle. Oh, sh. Oh, Belle. What have I done? Whilst fresh the thoughts of global warming, along came the next ghost without warning. You'd be mistaken if you thought this bob in a dress. This spirit is here to share the present mess. Is that Ebenezer Scrooge? No more, please. Wait. You look familiar. Yes, I am the ancestor of the one who cares greatly for this world. Not that snotty know-it-all teenager. My name is Betty Thunberg. And that know-it-all teenager is my great, 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 great granddaughter. Don't you see the resemblance? She certainly got your looks. Enough of the flattery. Let's go! Where are we going? Back to the future! I brought you to the home of one of your employees. I notice there's no meat being prepared in this house. Could this be the home of Bob? It Patrick? is. What is that? That is a nut roast. Blech. I'm a big fan of Christmas. 
But mm, not Ralph. Come disgusting. on, Ebenezer. Think of Bell. Oh, yeah. I could have changed her mind, you know, if only I'd given her a little bit more sausage and stuffing. I think we both know that's not true. Hmm. Well, Tabitha, are you coming through from your bedroom? Have you been crying again? I'm okay. You're frozen. Come through to the kitchen. Later, Mum. Making that recipe you found online. Thank you. Come on, what is it? Nothing, nothing. Tabata. It was Christmas dinner at the youth centre today. Okay. Jenny Harris and her friends tried to force me to eat turkey. They grabbed me by my arms and legs, pinning me down, laughing, and poured gravy into my mouth. <laughs> They did what? I, I'm going to get over there. I'm Please going mom, to... Don't, don't. It was my fault. How on earth could this be your fault? I asked the, work, um, the workers if they had any options for me. They just said, eat the vegetables. I should have just eaten the vegetables. I didn't know that Jenny was in the queue and that her mum was one of the chefs. I tried to explain to them that... The, the turkey dinner was like twice the emissions of a nut roast. I tried to tell them, Mum. Have you smelt the emissions from a vegan? I tried to tell them. I tried to tell them. Why does anyone understand? People don't like to be told, love. It isn't your fault. Have you eaten anything today? Come through to the kitchen. No, I'm fine. Oh, come on. You must be hungry, you're barely eating. Here, let me put some of this through for you and you can test it. Put some on the plate and I'll eat it. Okay, good girl. Oh, dad called by the way. He did what? Yeah, he's got Christmas day off. I don't believe it. Why would he say that? He didn't exactly want to tell you the other thing. Uh, the other thing? Uh, he might have invited Mr. Scrooge for Christmas. He did what? She didn't look so disgusted about what? it. He would have been lonely. He would have that man in this house. If it wasn't so hard to get a job, he wouldn't be in that factory. Your father sees what damage it's doing. Look at you, suffering because of people's ignorance. And Scrooge is the embodiment of that ignorance, that cruelty. I know, Mum, but he would have been alone. He deserves to be alone. I'll hear no more about it. I'm going out anyway. I'm going back to youth centre. Why? Okay. Why would she go back there? I know you're not supposed to steal, but I've been taking all the Christmas crackers. Tabitha, you're making trouble for yourself where you shouldn't. I know you're frustrated, darling, but I can't let you go and steal from them. But, Mum, you know what would happen. Them Christmas crackers are filled with bit, little bits of plastic. They would just get thrown away and get stuck in the mouths of animals. That's not up to you to solve it. You're only 18 years old. Well, I'm going. <sighs> Do you see what one little girl is willing to put herself through just to make this world a better place? She's going to get herself hurt. Isn't she expendable? What? You said earlier about the turtles dying. Plenty more fish in the sea. But what about people? What about Tabitha? Even if she doesn't get hurt now, she will in the future. And she's not the only one. Climate change affects all of us. Think about the child in the same age as Tabitha. You'd want them to be able to breathe clean air and drink water, surely? I'm not a monster. Of course I would. Then will you do something before it's too late? I, um... Extreme heat, extreme weather events becoming more intense and frequent. People will die, Ebenezer. You are just trying to scare me. Get out of my way.
Despite her bravery, Tabitha continued to suffer. The torments of her peers became only rougher. Her parents were desperate and without a clue of how to stop her pain or what to do. Why am I the churchyard? What now? I suppose you're another spirit sent to torment me. I am the ghost of climate future. The ghost of climate change yet to come. The scene is one year from now when you may be foolish enough to think the worst thing to happen is a shortage of turkeys. Hang on, are you telling me there will be a shortage of turkeys? There will be a shortage of turkeys, I believe. How could this be? Just make sure you blame everything but Brexit. Why would I blame Brexit? Oh, Ebenezer, there is so much to teach you. I am just one night. Let's stick to the climate crisis. Fine, but can you explain why we are here? Watch! Oh, I miss her so much, Bob. It's so quiet. Oh, please, please tell me. Tabitha doesn't die. Aye. How, why? Do you remember the fumes from your factory and how many people in the tomb had brittle asthma? Oh. Oh no. She just wanted to make the world a better place. We can carry on, Emily, in her memory. Her death did bring many to the cause in the end. She did. I remember when I was a teenager, sitting in my bedroom listening to Oasis, trying to get girls to like me. <laughs> in the 80s, I was more interested in Lady Pang and Lombard. I wasn't planning protests, just queuing for bread. I can't believe how many young people are activists. Oh, if I'd realised sooner, I sometimes think I could have done more. <laughs> Blaming ourselves doesn't help. The, the school called the office today. They want to set up a prize in Tabitha's name. The plan is that they'll have students pitch forward environmentally friendly ideas and they'll sponsor it to make it reality. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah, you'd think so. But? Mr Scrooge answered the phone. <laughs> I can guess what he said. He told them to stick it. Said it wasn't his problem. Not his problem. Not his problem. His fumes are killing us all. I will make it the b**** problem. Oh, Emily, no, please. Show me no more of this. Where, where are we now? The future, the land, the sea and the sky. What is this? Just hang on a minute. What is this? Stop! Please stop! I get it, I understand! The land, the sea, the sky, blessing is everywhere, destroying this planet. I want to change it. I don't want this, please. There must be something I can do. I can do it. Recognize this. It's too late. No. Recognize this. Yes. This is a hundred years from now in the future, and it is still here. Those plastic bags. Yes. Up to a hundred years to disintegrate. Um. The plastic bottles. I, I, all oh, 30 years? Try a thousand. I didn't know. You didn't care. The microplastic is for eternity. What can I do, please, spirit? I think you screech. I will change. I will walk with my fellow man.
The ghosts did it all in one night, even if they gave old Scroogey a fright. We've learned from the past, yet time moves on all so fast. However, the problem exists in the now, so we still have to save the future somehow. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Amazing day! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's not too late! Merry Christmas, Mr Ebenezer! Merry Christmas to you! What are you doing today? I'm off to see the Cratchits on Zoom. Really? Are you sure you'll be welcome? You're an intelligent boy, a remarkable boy, but I can make amends. I want to get them a goose. <gasps> no, it can't be a goose. It's a neap tartar tan! A neap tartar tan! A neap tartar tan! And a little fruit. bit of gravy! A neap tartar tan! A neap tartar tan! And a little bit of gravy! Ebenezer, have you gone mad? No, Mr. Smith, I am saner than ever. You should try some neap tartar tan! A neap tartar tan! A little bit of gravy! Google, show me a recipe for neap tartar tan. Merry Christmas to you! And to you, sir. I was just why, heading out. Why, you look rather familiar. Do I? Like someone I knew a long time ago. I know who you are, of course, Mr Scrooge. I've sent several emails that you haven't responded to. I remember turtles! Well, I'm terribly sorry about that. I really do apologise. Here, let me make it up to you right now. Give me your details and I shall send you a donation. Oh, wow. And that's just for starters. I should be making regular donations from now on. Thank you so much. Now, my pleasure. I must dash. I need to buy a neat. Toodaloo. Bye. Google. Make a Zoom call to the Cratchit household, please. Now oh, I wonder, who could that be on Christmas Day? Bob, it's for you. Oh, Mr Scrooge. What are the hippies having for starters? Oh, no, sir. It is Christmas Day and you are here in my home. I invited you to join us because I thought it a shame for anyone to be on Christmas I Day. Don't. But I just... I have got a neap tartar tan. And, Emily, I have a present for you. Thank you. Brilliant. You're not having this? No, not this year. I've been thinking about how to be considerate. I. I'm going to be thinking about climate change. You and your father have inspired me. To think about climate change? That's right. You know you don't have to be a vegetarian. If you wanted to eat meat, there are other ways that mean you don't have to become a vegetarian. Really? I didn't know that. You could reduce your meat intake if you wanted, and you can also buy meat from local butchers that get their meat from locally sourced farms. Oh, that is amazing. So, I could still have a bacon sandwich on a Sunday morning. Yeah, that's the same. Bob! I didn't know she knew. <sighs> Tabitha, how old are you? 18. Hmm, almost ready to leave school. Now, she's not coming to work on low wages in your factory, if that's what you're thinking about, Mr Scrooge. No, 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 no. I thought I'd get her to come work for me as an environmental advisor. But she'll have me work with the best professionals and I shall pay for her to go through university and she might turn the business round. How does that sound? Brilliant. Right then, let's tuck in to our neat tartar tan before it goes cold. <laughs> <laughs> 